Earth, a place with such interesting beings. Like many other planets throughout the cosmos, their subjects have needless squabbles. But from those conflicts, I've discovered some creatures that could be of great use to our efforts. I'm not quite ready for the selection, but after many patient years, I feel it is time for more thorough documentation. This city is where we begin. Ladies! And gentlemen, my name is Royce, and welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. Tonight, I will be drinking the last of my back pocket brewing, Murderhorn Golden Ale, while talking about who dis? This man's that just appears at the end of the Isom trailer. But without any further ado, let's get into that conversation. But... I want to say this, if you guys are a subscriber of the channel, Stick around to the end of the channel because I have some channel updates that are very, very important that I want everybody to hear. If you like what I'm doing and you become a scriber, stick around to the end. If you're only here for the Ripperverse stuff, stick around until I say, hey, bounce Ripperverse people. It's my show now. Let's get into the theory crafting. All right, so at the end of the Ripperverse video, we all saw it. We were all there. It was amazing. Kind of. All right, it was totally amazing. Dakumon's cards. Pre-order exclusive. Now, there is speculation from the community as to whether or not this guy is actually going to be a character in the comic. I wonder if he is or if he's not. Because this guy seems like a major player that could be way further down the road. To speculate about this man's, I think that he is similar to that of the, oh, was it the Watcher from, was that DC? Marvel? They both had, they both had their Watchers. I cannot remember who they are, but anyway, but he is similar to that. I believe that his story is that he is looking at these interesting specimens on Earth, as he says in the, um, uh, in, in as you saw in the intro of this video and obviously at the end of Ripper versus video which is what I totally ripped this off from but I think that his job is absolutely going to be to find all of the accepts on planet earth or recruit some of them on planet earth to do some intergalactic shenanigans or possibly just galactic shenanigans I think uh I think I uh, honestly lit if I think if Ripa was was thinking about the size and scope of space appropriately um, to cover the galaxy and express how big the galaxy actually is, um, I think that would go a long way to show how how this guy and his universe is a little bit different than everybody else's. I think that that's a fantastic way to do that. I absolutely believe that this he's he is a collector of some sorts or he's trying to put a team together to fight off some big galactic uh you know brouhaha there. Um I like the Dokumon's cards that shows he's definitely it could show that he is definitely more of the collector sort and completely not what I think at all. Doing these theory crafting videos is kind of rough because we don't really have a ton to go off of here. We don't have a lot to go off of when it comes to especially this character. All we know is that he got some cards and the cards uh, are uh, you can buy on the Ripperverse store uh, for a limited time. I don't know if they're all sold out yet. I think my lovely wife, before they sold out, bought me the freaking cards. She went back to the Ripperverse store and bought me the cards. And I didn't know that until she told me. And then she told me because she knows that I'd be like, man, I wish I could have had those cards. And she doesn't want to keep that from me for forever in a day. So I digress. Who is the Dokumon? And is it Dokumans? 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 Like, how do you say his name? Phonetically, I have no idea how to say this man's name. Um, He definitely looks like a specter. This image here gives me vibes of being very old. Somebody who's been around for a while. Somebody who doesn't trifle around with needless stuff. Um, I think that th this could, again, lead into a much larger story. This could be similar to 
don't murder me for this, the MCU's Thanos, right? The buildup to get to that guy. This could be the first big, uh, big, big villain. He may also not be a big, big villain either, which I think would be smart to do to hold off on the big, big villains because once you scale up to that point, it's really hard to get your audience back into not having uh, a story like that uh, and a buildup like that. And that's where Marvel and DC went so wrong is it was just all the time. It was just these epic stories after epic stories after epic stories and then resets and reboots and, you know, time travel shenanigans and all that stuff. And I think if Rip is smart about this, he is most likely going to make this guy lower level. I don't think this guy stands up in a fight. I could be wrong. If I am wrong, this guy comes down and puts up a hell of a fight and probably captures somebody that's very close to and near and dear to um, Isom or Avery. Those are my thoughts on Doc Dokumon Dokumon. Is it Dokumon or Dokumon? I don't remember. I, I haven't heard Rippa say it. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm a scrub and I haven't paid attention as much as I should. But I really, I, I he's somebody asked me to do a video on him, and I, his artwork here shows an old specter. The guy's been around a while. He knows what. Obviously, it shows pulling away from the Earth. He is obviously a galactic level uh, or a gal. A galactic traveling being. I mean, that's obvious from the trailer. I think if you don't pick that up, you you know you weren't paying attention to the trailer. So that is uh, that. That's really all I have on this guy. I just can't think of anything else. Um, I go with collector or villain. That's that's what I'm going with. I'm going with collector or villain. Um, the cards lead me to believe collector. Um, the vibe leads me to believe villain. I think the vibe is to make you think that he is a villain and then, uh, uh, totally pull the, uh, the, the rug out from under you and be like, Hey, not actually a bad guy. He just got a dark thing. Cause you know, he'd been around a while. I think that's what Rip is going for here is he's probably more of a good guy, but he wears that dark and shady stuff and he has a deep voice because, well, you know, he's from outer space and he don't have to present as, you know, human as human could be. And so, with all of that being said, what do you guys think about this Dokumon character? Doc Dokumon? I don't know how to say his name. I'm so confused. What do you guys think about him? Let me know in the comments below because this is probably going to be the last Ripaverse theory video that I do until I get the book in my hands. Now, for those of you who say, Thank you so much for the Ripaverse theory. We really liked it, but we really don't care about you, A Drink With Crazy. We're just here because of Eric July. I love you guys. Thank you so much for checking it out. But if you guys don't want to stay around for the channel updates, you don't have to. But right now, we're going to get into the channel updates, and let's go for it. So, for those of you out there who have been following me, you know that I'm... I'm really trying to figure out how to address the channel and move the channel into the directions that it needs to go uh, to build, to grow, um, but more importantly, to do what I want. What I want to do is, I, and I am currently working on getting my first one in development, is I want to do, you know, those, uh, you know, a comic book commentary style uh, uh, videos similar to, you know, um, Comics Explained and uh, Comic Story and, and really go into some of the stories of these books. I am actually reading Shadowbinders. I got through the first, I think, half the book. I am maybe slightly less than half of Shadowbinders. And I'm really excited to do that one. Um, my hope is to finish it by this weekend and then probably not Memorial Day because I don't think any of you guys would watch, but probably on Tuesday after Memorial Day, I will release the first of the series. And then every Tuesday after that, you guys will get a Shadowbinders video that covers the story, covers the action, and tells you guys what's going on. Um, this series will encompass volumes one and volumes two. And if I space it out correctly, based off of what I know the content is kind of leaning to, there's a very good chance I could get four to five months worth of weekly videos out for you guys. And then that would get me closer to the Crimson Wren, uh, book potentially. And then we could just start on Crimson Wren. Also, when I get the Isom book, my goal is I'm going to pre-record a lot of these videos for you, and they'll just release every week. I'll just get them all set up. They'll release every week. We're good to go. Rock and roll, right? 
Um, and then I will get the ISOM videos out. And then those videos covering the storyline will be coming out weekly as well for as long as that keeps going. I know that uh, Eric July promised uh, once if he reached a certain goal, he would have two more campaigns before the end of the year, one or two more campaigns or a second one. So there's a very good chance that we could actually just keep rolling with that. Um, the other thing that I really want everybody here uh, who has subscribed to my channel to do is I want you guys all to come over to my uh, Gilded page, which as soon as I am able to actually... Uh... Nope, nope, that's not what I want to do. Uh, I want everybody to come over to my Gilded page, which is right here. This is where I'm going to keep up with all of you guys. That This link is in the description. If you are a follower here and you want to come and join in in this community and you want to leave, you know, beer recommendations or comic book recommendations, game recommendations, or if YouTube is not notifying you because they're a bunch of jerks and you just want to be notified, you can literally join the community, mute all the rest of this stuff, the main, the tap room discussion, all these other recommendations, and you can just be notified about the ADWC uploads because as things are getting uploaded, I will be posting there, and this is how you guys are going to get notifications of the videos going out. This is what I want to do, and this is how I want to continue forward communicating with you guys because although YouTube is uh, good, they're, they're pretty bad in a lot of areas, uh, especially when it comes to notifying people of what's going on. Um, the other thing that I want to talk about is YouTube seems to be want to be pushing shorts lately. I hear from a lot of the main YouTubers that I listen to that shorts are becoming a thing. YouTube wants shorts because YouTube thinks that TikTok is going to overtake them and they want to fight with TikTok, which is fine. My question to you guys is, is instead of maybe cracking the beers and, you know, introducing that here in every episode, like I've been doing, I could potentially do like one minute long beer review shorts, right? Because I want to be able to expose the channel to other people. And maybe some people come in and they go, oh my gosh, I like your stuff. And maybe some people come in and they do a hate campaign to get my whole channel taken down. Who knows? But I shorts are a thing. I hate shorts. I'm not a TikTok person. I don't like them at all. But I also understand that you know, my aspirations are to be able to build this channel up and to be able to do this in a full-time capacity eventually someday. That could take years. Could, uh, who knows? Maybe something happens tomorrow, a meteor strikes the planet, and bam, I'm the biggest YouTuber on the planet because I'm the only one that's left. I don't know. You know, nuclear fallout's kind of a weird thing. But who knows? I mean, crazier things have happened. <laughs> Eh, that's not going to happen. No, and I would not wish that on anybody because then I would not see all the YouTubers that I want to see. So, but that's my question to you guys. One, will you join my Gilded? I really want people over there. The link is in the description below. You send in an application. It's going to say, why do you want to be a part of the community? Just answer why you want to be a part of the community. The more a drink with crazy uh, lore you know, the more I'll be like, okay, this person's seen some things and they know what I'm all about. Um... The other side of it, too, is shorts. What do you guys want to see from shorts? Do you want to see me go over this stuff? Do you want to see beer recommendations? I think the beer recommendation or the beer reviews thing could be quick, simple, and easy. It's crack a beer, take a swig, uh, give some funny, short, smart-ass review, and go from there. But with all of that being said, regardless of how all of this develops and grows, I want you to know that I am eternally grateful for all of you being here. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. So until next time, I will see you all right here on A Drink With Crazy. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.